<clears throat> Hi guys, this is Gaming with Alston, and today we are on episode 135 of Pyramid City. Our instinct if a country breaks a lot is to fight back. A lot of people in North Korea are screwed. They have to resort to breaking the law just to survive. A lot of it has to do with the collapse of the Soviet Union in North Korea's geography. Those play a role. Why food is so scarce. North Korea's geography plays a role. As Christmas is coming up, as of Wednesday, the date of the recording, the day of the recording, I'm going to use Wednesdays as my recovery days. Because Christmas is on a Wednesday. True Christmas story. I was at my uncle for on Christmas. I was with my uncle on Christmas Eve, like on back in 2012. And one of my cousins, one of my cousin-in-laws ended up getting a box of condoms. And... When I wanted to snatch a gift in favor of another one, I wanted to try stealing the condoms. <laughs> From my in-law. Funny st it's funny, funny but true. It's a pretty weird Christmas, li short Christmas story. Then my dad told me, no, don't go for the condoms. It's 
Especially if you're like 12 years old. <clears throat> I was 12 at the time that happened. I was 12 years old at the time that happened. But five years later, I got a thing of dumbbells. On Christmas Eve. Back in... 2017. Then ultimately, I decided to start using them. Kind of what got me into working out every day. If it wasn't for the dumbbells, probably wouldn't be working out today. To this day. If it weren't for the dumbbells. If you're watching this video, let me know that if you're watching this video when I post it tomorrow, I'll be letting you know that I'll be back to my workout regimen. Like usual. I'm eventually going to upgrade to a barbell set. <clears throat> like, probably get a barbell. <clears throat> if I ever go live on my own, or, or with a friend of mine, I'm probably going to... I'll be turning the garage into a gym. The reason why I'm going to do that... Is there's lots of space in the garage to work out in. There's a lot of space to work out in. What I would have in the home gym in my in the home gym series might be an approximation of what I might end up getting for my home gym. It's only an approximation. It's only approximations. New Year's resolution to lose weight only works in Australia, in any of the Southern Hemisphere countries, like for the most part.
Because as winter rolls around, people conserve energy. Like all mammals do. And it's not just humans that end up gaining back the weight they lost. A lot of mammals end up doing that when they lose weight. This is due to a trait that all warm-blooded animals have. It's called adaptive thermogenesis. Which explains why it's so hard to get rid of all the stubborn fat. Weight loss doesn't always mean health. One thing that m means health the most is a loss of visceral fat. But not necessarily weight loss. If the contestants from The Biggest Loser didn't gain back the weight they lost, they'd probably end up with very, like, bones that are pretty brittle. This is why your body holds on to fat. This is one of the reasons your body has to hold on to fat when you're on a deficit. One of the reasons is so your bones don't deteriorate. This is because your body's trying to conserve the bone mass, too. Because not all weight. Not all of your body weight is fat. You gotta understand. Some of it uh, is muscle. And some of it is. your internal organs and other tissues. And some of it is bone. If you lose too much fat too quickly, you're going to end up losing a shit ton of bone mass. That'd be a cascade effect. Like, if you lose fat too quickly, it's going to create a chain reaction that could end up killing you. So, with fat loss, take it slow and steady. Don't go too quickly with fat loss, or else you could die. Or else you could die. Or else your body could begin, could shut down from malnutrition.
Magnesium is crucial for heart function. Calcium is crucial for bone health. as well as phosphorus. Phosphorus is also crucial for the health of your bones. My plan for the new year ahead is to try to get even, is to build more muscle. But not lose more weight, any more weight. In fact, my goal now is to gain weight. Without, well, like, try to gain as much muscle mass as I can naturally. The fat reserve, the stored fat's crucial for bone health. And it's not just insulin that causes your body to store excess sugar as fat. There might be a hormone that is actually released by your bones that causes that too. There may be a stress hormone that is actually released by your bones. Your body fat tells you when you've filled up, too. By producing leptin.
One factor behind why leptin resistance can occur resistance. Or insulin insufficiency, in which your body's not producing enough insulin. One thing, one of the things that bears do when preparing for hibernation is they start slowing down physiologically, like at the physiological level. Like their heart rate starts to slow down, their digestion slows down, basically everything slows down. Bears do that to prepare for hibernation. <clears throat> Not only will they eat up a lot of food before the uh, season, the hibernation allows them to go for months without food. Only waking up if necessary. One potential danger of space travel might have to do with heart problems. The best way to solve that problem is to simulate the gravity. With centrifugal force. You know, stored fat is crucial for bone health. Not just to cushion your organs, but to cushion your bones 
something to ensure your bones are healthy. Because even if you don't hurt yourself, having a very low fat percentage also can put you at a greater risk of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. If you're already at risk of osteoporosis, you shouldn't be losing weight. Because that could actually exasperate the risk. Like, especially, you shouldn't be losing subcutaneous fat. This is the reason your body, you kind of need stored fat. About half the sugar you consume gets turned into fat. Like the glycemic type sugar, not like the fiber. Because, you know, the fiber actually gets used up by your own gut bacteria. Mm -hmm. In exchange for the fiber, you could get certain nutrients like vitamin E. That is, that's a vitamin that is actually produced by your own gut bacteria. So you don't have to worry... No, that's a vitamin K, not vitamin E. In exchange for the fiber you consume... You're given vitamin K for your body to use by the gut bacteria. <clears throat> if beta carotene stores are already high, like if vitamin A stores are already high, then your body would slow down the breakdown of beta carotene into fully formed vitamin A. There's a reason why beta carotene breakdown is tightly regulated. Mm -mm. Since cats cannot break down beta carotene, they have to source it in their diet. They're kind of at a greater risk of hypervitaminosis A. There are people out... Not only you need to drink water to have healthy skin, you also need to store fat. <laughs> Excuse me. should be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe for more. N as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As always, this is Gaming with Austin signing off. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.